Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of Two Can Plays Monster Jam Steel Titans 2. And welcome to Toronto. We are continuing our stadium championship. And we're playing with Gravedigger. I've got my son Joseph, and he is an all time Gravedigger fan. I probably have way too many uh, Gravedigger models. And too many Gravedigger toys, and we're going against. Backwards Bob. It's gonna be confusing because backwards Bob. <laughs> All right, we're going head to That's head. That's a big jump. Oh no! Oh shit! Oh, oh, there we go. Ah, okay. uh, big jump. So these, the Toronto, I remember is is hard because. You're coming right around the corner and you got this jump right after the corner, so you gotta get it straight on, but it, you end up doing a little rolly deal there. And if you get a tire out of the set course, you're going back. Yeah, you get reset real quick. You're doing pretty good here though. Oh, uh, uh no, no. I'd say as I flip. Didn't, didn't <laughs> land it. Yeah, it's cool, that really. The fronts uh, may be flapping open. I don't know ah. if that's good, but no, oh, yeah, you're right. Ah, uh. uh, come on. Oh, come on. All right, Whee! last jump. There we go. Nice. First place. First place win for round one. Next up, we're going against the pink gumball, as William likes to say. Monster Mutt Poodle. Whenever I play against her, I just get destroyed for no reason. Monster Mutt Poodle seems to be everywhere. Man, the jumps are hard. Monster Mutt Poodle is everywhere, and she is a hard challenger. I don't know why. Oh, uh, no, come on. I even slow down for that jump. Poodles are known for being fierce, and yet, here we are. Oh, come on! Uh, Ooh, that wrong way. There we go. Now we're going the right way. What is your least favorite um, course? My least favorite course? I don't know if I have a least favorite course. Come on! Stay on track. Um, you know, the, the ones that are figure eights, are kind of difficult though, because I always have to think about how to jump off the, the over the finish line. And that looks like the end of the race. End of round two. Mine, my least favorite is probably the bone course, except it's the circuit race. Because, uh. like, the sharp turns, I mean, yes, hardy har har, it's a bone and it's monster mud. But it's just so annoying to get the turns right. Okay, so the, the circuit race in the bark bar? Yes. Okay. I mean, like, here you just have to turn and go straight, then turn and go straight. But with the, the, with, uh, the dog park thing, you have, you're turning all the time, and when you're done with it, somebody just knocks you off course. Yeah, that is true. I do remember the Bark Park was the first time where it was a real big challenge. That was also the first time I straight up walked away from the computer. <laughs> Alright, we're, we're doing pretty good against Avenger here. I think we've already lapped him. We're coming up on our second lap. That's alright though. The race is over. Yay. Alright, last up, Megalodon. He looks pretty cool in this game. He does. Why? Well, he looks really cool in real life. You know, okay, so I, I'll i admit, I said this when we started this uh, stadium championship. I said it's easy because that's kind of the point I was at when I first started the big show. I needed it to be on easy because it was hard. It was hard for me to do. But now, I, it's easy is just too easy. I mean, we're already lapping Megalodon. And it's kind of it's kind of boring. There's just so many of them, and it's just not a challenge anymore. <laughs> that was kind of a problem I had, ex except for 
the dog packages. Yeah. But, like. I tried to do a backflip, didn't work. <laughs> I mean, you landed in the end, so. Not really, but. Oh! There we go. Funny thing is, um. When we fart, when we first got monster trucks, it was an RC Grave Digger and an RC Megalodon. Oh, that's right, Megalodon and, versus Grave Digger. That's right. And I won most of the races that me and William had. Uh huh. And you just won the race against Megalodon. There you go. So. All right. Next up, two wheel skills. Oh. oh. Just Man, I got, I smashed a, a car and that start, count, started counting towards my two-wheel skill combo. That's not okay. That's all right. We got some big air. We got a wheelie. Oh, there we go. Oh. Stopping a moonwalk. Times five. Try to get more. Uh, uh, well, well, you still got the first one. Yeah, well, we're, we're in second place. We got ten points. You're behind that looks like Bakugo and Dragonoid. Yeah. There we go. Oh, there we go. Look at that. What? I don't know if that's... I think that's a little too long. No, that's awesome. No, I, I just got the uh, the achievement, the stoppy achievement. Oh, no. Wait, there's <laughs> achievements? Yeah, I got the stoppy achievement. Oh, uh, they didn't even count it. I got the stoppy achievement, and they didn't even count that combo because I flipped. That sucks. Hey, do me a huge favor, though, before we get started on this time destruction. Go down and smash that like button and subscribe if you haven't done so already. It really helps us out because we're trying to get to a thousand. It really helps the channel out. It helps get these videos out to more people. Let's us know that we're doing a good job. And we should make more videos like this. All right, with that, let's keep going with our time destruction event. That's a lot of porta potties. That is a lot of porta potties. I accidentally said porta potties. Porta potties. Port of Portis! Crushing all the crates. I've been playing I've been playing so much um ah. the Paper Mario Origami King that when you smash those crates I thought that you would get confetti from it. <laughs> Let's get a backflip off this crate here. And... Oh, just missed the last one. So is that what the game you've been playing lately is uh, Paper Mario? Yeah. Nice. Also, Mario and Batman. Mario plus rabbits? Yeah. We're gonna come up with another one. Is that it? Yeah. Oh, big jump. I missed all of those Zeppelins. That's it. Here we go. Did we get him this time? I got a couple. He did too well. <laughs> I mean, we're still way ahead of everybody. Else. Of Megalodon is in second place. Oh gosh! Two people to jump. Come on, we can do better than that. There Let's a... try that again. Come on, here we go. Here we go. Uh, uh, come on. <laughs> there was a broken part of it that when we landed, it just flew off into the crowd. <laughs> Oh man, I just cannot get these backflips. Your outer layer is really taking a beating. Yeah, <laughs> I'm pretty destroyed. Alright, time for our final event, the freestyle. I want to own the flag at the end of Brave Beagle. Haha. Uh -huh. The pirate flag. Yeah, either that or the or a chunk of the skull shell. They do sell parts of the shell sometimes, or they'll give away to fans at events. Probably expensive though. Yeah. Oh come on, no. Count that four times combo at least. Good. All right. Your turtle. Grave digger tends to tur turtle a lot. I don't know if it's just the shape of his shell or what, but. Turtle. <laughs> He's such a cool truck, though. He is. That's why 
plays my favorite. The granddaddy of them all. Whoa, and there's so many variants of him, too. Nice, that's a good corkscrew there, even though they didn't count it as a corkscrew. My favorite... What's your favorite version of Brave Little? Oh, man, that's a tough one. I... Honestly, I think I like either the original or Gravedigger Fire. That's pretty cool looking too. Now, what do you mean by original? Uh, this one right here. This version. <laughs> yeah, I know. There's a whole bunch of original Gravediggers like uh, like uh, Gravedigger the Legend and the, the red colored Gravedigger with the matte finish. There's, there, the, my top three is probably this version as number one. Second one is the high contrast. Oh yeah, high contrast. And is third good. is Gravedigger Fire. Nice. I think in next episode we're gonna have to play with a variant. Yeah, we're in first place. Uh, got a wheelie, sort of. Um, Come on, let's see if we can continue this going a little past the clock here. You got stuck on the corner for a second. I did. Oh, man, and then I flopped. All right, well, that is going to do it for this episode. Thank you all for joining me and Joseph. We'll see you... On the flip side. Later!